Earlier today, I came to the group to share with you that I found a nice little gem hidden and spread simple page. And I believe Caio jumped in and he was fast on uh, finding what I was uh, hiding at that time. So here's the tool. This is uh, in Portuguese on formula. And why this is such an interesting thing and I explain you, uh, you know, if you're trying to have dynamic uh, information, dynamic data on your Google Sheet, uh, you may find like nice uh, ways to do it, but this is probably the easiest one. You just uh, paste your uh, API URL here, something that, uh, brings a JSON to your Google Sheet, and it makes a piece of cake for you to import it on the sheet. And maybe you don't understand exactly what it does, but it makes a like a, a connection of a Google Sheet with dynamic data. So for example, there is this address here that I will link uh, later on the post. Uh, this is a a repository of public API, so public information regarding lots of things. For example, if you want to have like daily cat facts, there is an API for this. It you, you don't pay for it. So this is like free. And there are loads of information that you can link directly to your sheets using APIs. And these are like any database, and like uh, uh, abuse uh, information regarding the IPs and loads of, of things. So I found one that I found interesting. This is a Reddit API this, and it's a sentiment analysis uh, for uh, stocks of the uh, New York exchange. So this is the address that we should use, and I'm copying it here, and I'll head back to the uh, tool that Spreadsimple provides us, just pasted it here, and check this flattened nested object, and let's preview the data. So what it does, this API, it gathers information from Reddit and links the number of comments here, and do a sentiment analysis to tell if these particular stock is on a bullish trend or a bearish trend. And this, in this case, this is Apple, Tesla, I don't know what GME is, AMC, the cinema thing. So if you want, you can link this directly into your Google Sheet. And this is exactly what I did. I just, let me hide it here. Oh, sorry, I don't wanna mess with it. So I'm sorry, let's go back. I want to hide it because I'll explain this later to you. Also, I want to hide it. So what I did, I just pasted this equal import data and all this thing here on my Google Sheets. You see it here? And it automatically linked that API with these cells. So I have it. Uh, like dynamically uh, link it to my sheet and you know where this is going. So after that, you know, I have been looking forward to a way of building dynamic images also. And since that duply thing doesn't work, I decided to find something else and I found this fake images, please. And what it does, it allows you, for example, to uh, directly from a URL, uh, create an image with text. So in this case, this will create a 350 per 200 uh, pixels image with the image text equals hello. So there we go, let's try it. And there it is. And you can like set up a couple of things. So the color of the image and the text and the size and the uh, font that it will use. 
well, of course, I took advantage of it and I built this like a small formula here that brings the gathers the name of the ticker, the ticker and put it in a good fashion. So green for bullish and red for bearish. And I like just simplified a little bit uh the text here and through all of this this table this simple table into a spreadsheet uh, into spread simple and this is what i built in like it took me like i believe uh, 15 minutes or so not much more than this and this is ordered for example uh, here I'm ranking per score, but I could uh, use a like descending on who wins. And here are the beers. And you can have like uh, loads of uh, fun building these dynamic uh, spread simple pages. And maybe this could help you to gather more leads or to do something interesting. So this is what I wanted to share with you. I hope you enjoy it. Use your tools. Take care. Bye-bye.